Captain Chowdhury and I am going to speak about conical projections. Conical projections broadly are of two types. Diagrammatically or symbolically they can be represented like this for one standard conical projection, one standard parallel conical projection and the two standard conical projection can be represented like this. Let us try and understand one standard parallel conical projection. There is a globe of radius r and suppose this is the parallel of latitude making the standard parallel. I am trying to show you the 50% of the cone. This is the radius. This angle is latitude so this must be 90 minus latitude and therefore this must be again latitude and therefore this distance is r cos a. If this is radius and this is latitude, this particular angle is 90 minus latitude. So this is once again latitude. So this distance from here to here is r dot latitude. Now what happens is if this cone is cut open, if this particular cone is cut open, we will get a shape like this. Now because this distance is r cos l, you imagine a circle where the cone is tangenting the sphere, tangenting the globe, then the radius of that circle is r cos l and therefore the distance from here, because we have opened it, the distance from here to here will be 2 pi r cos l. Now we have seen this distance is r cot l, so this distance is r cot l. If we imagine the complete circle, then the circumference of that circle will be 2 pi r cot l. How many times the earth features are diminished, that will be given by 2 pi r cos l upon 2 pi r cot l. This gives sine latitude and sine latitude is like factor of the cone. It means that if 360 degrees of the globe has to be represented on this chart, then 360 degrees into sine of L is number of degrees that would be found here. Say for example, if the standard parallel is 50 degrees north, then 360 degrees multiplied by sine of 50 degrees that gives me 275.75 so approximately 276 degrees is this now if this is 276 degrees then 276 degrees divided by 360 that gives me 0.76 or so equal to sine of latitude now if I have to make a chart on one standard parallel conical position, standard parallel latitude being 50 degrees north and radius of the globe say 5 cm, then this particular distance can be found as r cot l, that means, that means r divided by tan latitude, that means 5 divided by tan of 50 degrees, that makes 4.195, about 4.2 cm. This angle I have already found as 276 degrees. Let us look at this drawing in a more realistic way. I said this angle is 276 degrees. This is 4.2 centimeters. So uh, let me make it more realistic. So if I can draw it like this. This is how it would look and this should be actually pole theoretically but let us see what happens. This cone that is opened out is actually hugging the globe at a particular latitude and I said it is 50 degrees north and accordingly we found this angle as 276 degrees. Now having drawn 50 degrees north 
parallel which is at a distance of 4.2 centimeters for a globe of radius 5 centimeter. Let me tell you how any other parallel of latitude should be drawn or can be drawn. So for that let me draw the magnified view of the globe. Say for example this is equator and this is a pole and this is 40. So this is 50 degrees parallel and then let's say the distances are not in proportion but let's say this is 65 degrees parallel, this is 50 degrees parallel. Now this is center of the earth. The cone is tangenting the globe along 50 degrees parallel. If I want to represent a parallel of 65 degrees on the cone, then there are three ways in which it can be done. One of the ways is I measure the distance along the meridian, along the earth or along the meridian. If the distance or the scale should be correct along the meridian, then what I do is I try to depict this distance on the inner surface of the cone and the same distance, suppose this distance is x, at distance of x, I mark parallel of 65 degrees now. That is one way. I would draw a further magnified diagram, for example, this way. And this is 65 degrees parallel. This is 50 degrees parallel. Now, what I can do is, from here, I can drop a perpendicular on the cone. That is another way of projecting it. That means, whichever parallel I want to project on the cone from there, I must draw a perpendicular on the inner surface of the cone. There is yet the third way of projecting, that is the light and shadow method. From the center of the globe, I draw a line radially outwards where it meets the cone. That is a parallel of 65 degrees. So we have seen that uh, the 65 degrees parallel can be represented in three ways. One is maintaining the distance along the meridian. Another way is dropping a perpendicular on the inner surface of the cone and third way is a radially outward line where it meets the cone. Now, at this rate, if I want to represent the pole, one of the methods would be I take this distance and I mark this distance, the pole comes here, that is maintaining the scale along the meridian. Another method is I drop a perpendicular from there to the inner surface of the cone, so pole comes here. And the third method is draw a line radially outwards from the center and the cone comes the pole comes here so accordingly the pole also can be represented at three different places one is at the tip of the cone another one is at intermediate places depending on what kind of projection you want so i will go in slight more detail about the projection where the distance along the meridian or the distance along the earth is maintained so for that if I want to find out what is the distance between 50 degrees parallel and 65 degrees parallel, what I do is the d lag, which is 15 degrees, I divide it by 57.3 and multiply by 5. Let me see what I get. So that gives me 1.3. So 1.3 centimeters from the 50 degrees parallel for a globe whose for a globe whose radius is 5 cm. So at this rate, what should be the distance of pole from 50 degrees parallel? Let me see. So we are talking about a d lat of 40 degrees. So 40 multiplied by 5 equal to divide by 57.3 that gives me 3.49. So 3.49 from here 3.49 from here, that means 3.49 from here, that gives you an arc and that arc is the pole. So pole is not a center. If I talk about the scale being maintained along the meridian and along the parallel, that is the standard parallel, then in that case, this conical projection is drawn for a standard parallel of 50 degrees. The angular separation of the globe to be 270 so this is a conical projection, one standard parallel, 50 degrees north is a standard parallel. This is how I represent 65 degrees north and this particular arc is representing the pole. Now let us try and understand what is two standard parallel conical projection. Now the two standard parallel conical projection will show the parallels of latitude as concentric circle. Now distance of 
say this is L1 and this is L2, distance of one of the standard parallel latitude from pole is found by R cos L1 divided by constant of core. Same way, the distance of another latitude from the pole is found by R cos L2 divided by constant of cone. Another thing is, what is constant of cone? Constant of cone is cos L1, difference cos L2, multiplied by 57.3 divided by d value. So this is the constant of cone. So this is how you can draw two standard parallel conical projections.